Hello, it's Lauren from SEOtoolsforyou.com. Today's video is going to cover the searching for domains and how to find that domain in your niche. So basically, this is the website uh, SEOtoolsforyou.com. So if you get a chance, sign up and we'll give you some additional video tutorials. I'm going to be looking for example domain and I'm going to navigate over to GoDaddy.com. This is where I buy all my domains. And you can see that you can actually go into searching for domains and they're they're pretty reasonable. I think at the moment they have sale on .com so it's eleven dollars and eighty two cents. So basically you can sign up for one year, two years, three years. When you're starting I would recommend signing up for two years because the search engines come by and, and see how long the domain has been registered for. So the, the longer the domain has been registered it will fare better in the search engine results. So you can actually search for a brand new domain and we'll just uh, use the example dog training and that's a dot com and we'll see what's available so we have some suggestions from GoDaddy and these are all going to be brand new domains so it's suggesting that you could either take wild-dog-training now I'd recommend to go for a dot com and I would also recommend if you're if you're into dog training if that's your product that you want to sell make sure you have the dog training within the title now these are brand new domains they don't have any history the other little tip I might suggest is a really good uh, resource is domaintools.com and here you can actually do a domain search and basically type in dog training and just watch what happens here it's much like the GoDaddy, it will suggest domains, but it's a slightly more powerful tool because it will list the domains that are already registered. In these columns it lists .com, .net, .org, .info, .biz, .us, which are probably the least three of the more popular, four more popular domain extensions. So what we're going to see here is the ones that are available. And if you notice that this column here for AAA Dog Training Inc., the .com's not taken, nor is any of the other extensions. We can just continue looking down here, and you can see a whole bunch of suggested domains are listed here, where there's there's no no one's bought those domains yet because there's no little symbol of the Earth in any of these columns here. A slightly more powerful way of doing it is you can extend the search. Okay, just uh, select the the advanced search, and you can include various things like you can include that the domain has hyphens with and without hyphens so uh, what we'll do is put in the uh, carrot dog training search and as a result that little carrot sign the shift six that will say to the search engine put that up front so put dog training up front and as you can see the results here are dog training dash blogs and that's that one is available dog training dash boarding but just be careful here sometimes people register domains these are all domains that could have been registered before and as you can see there are some domains that have spelling errors so just make sure that the brand that or the product that you're selling is spelled correctly and the other thing that you can do here say dog training colors they're quite popular with the electronic colors just copy that into another resource that I can show you here well if you've watched the previous video tutorial and where I show you how to install the Alexa toolbar you can see this little symbol here is a great resource and it points to the waybackmachine.org what we can do on this resource is actually put that dog training dash colors into the here and we can actually see the history of this domain if it does have any history. Okay, so it's not in the archives. So let me let me just show you one example. I know bodybuilding.com. I mean that's an active domain at the moment. And this will demonstrate power of this Wayback Machine. And this domain has actually been around since 1999. Uh, we can actually look at the first page that the bodybuilding.com put up. And as you can tell, back in 1999, uh, this site was uh, just starting. And 
as if you if you haven't seen this site before, uh, we can actually have a look at it in the current state. Click on the link for bodybuilding.com, and this is really the number one online supplement store so it's got a huge following and as you can see from the Alexa toolbar it's ranked 936 on the internet so it's very powerful any site that's below a thousand is doing extremely well when you're looking at sites I'm just jumping around a bit there's one other really good tip and resource that I'd like to point to is when you go to godaddy.com have a look at the auctions this is where I've picked up, uh, well, this is where I picked up SEO tools for you. And incidentally, what I'll do is I'll just throw that in the Wayback Machine. So this is my domain, SEO tools for you.com. I'll click on the Wayback Machine. Look at that. SEO tools for you started in 2004. Now, this is a little tip that a lot of internet marketers don't really want to share because this saves a bundle of money. See, what the search engines are looking for is, is domains that have been uh, aged. So when I talked about going to GoDaddy before and just buying a domain that they suggest here, just registering a, any old domain, that's going to be brand new. Search engines will come by and say, look at the registration data for that domain and say, well, that domain's just been created in February 2011. So, um, you know, it's not going to rank as high. But if they come and have a look at this domain, my domain and it's it's been around since December 2004 they're gonna say well that's got a lot of age to it so it, it's more likely a viable company that that owns that domain so a great tip go into GoDaddy auctions and from here you'll you'll have to sign up for a free account basically to get the benefit of the searching on the auction domains but just to show you here's some um, auctions that are almost let's see how they're sorted you can actually sort this this is this seems to be uh, in a random sort order but let me let me just show you the power of this here so dog training do a search Oh yeah, here's, sorry, here's the sort right here. They've changed it slightly. They've, uh, I think, realized that this is an incredibly powerful area of reselling domain names. So this is uh, sorted on the most active auction. So as you can see here, uh, there's some traffic here, uh, bidder offers and valuation and the price. So these domains, they actually have a buy now for $8 button or buy now for in this particular case, $999. Now what I do is I would recommend looking down this column here, which is the traffic and also the bids. And, and you can see which ones people who are experienced in this area are actually looking for. So this particular Dog Training Secrets US, let's just pull this in, I'll do a copy. See it's got 37 hits on this uh, particular domain. Put it in the Wayback Machine, just see what it comes up with. And what we're doing is we're looking for aged domains. And if you can pick up an aged domain for, you know, sometimes five, eight dollars, it's uh, it's a real incredible bargain. Now that's why there's so much interest. Look at this; it's as old as my domain, the SO Tools for You dot com. So that would be why people are actually looking at this domain, and why that domain is actually selling for. Uh, you can buy it now for $999. There it is. Uh, there's a bid. This one here, it doesn't have the buy now button. It's actually a bid. So right now, the bid is $12 or more. You know, jump off this video. Go in and, and start bidding for it if it's in your niche. So there's three tools here. There's Once you log into GoDaddy.com, you can go in to have a look at either buying a fresh domain, a brand new domain, or you can go into the auctionary and buy a, a pre-owned domain. That's the one that, that I'd recommend. Sometimes you have to spend a bit more time looking around and doing your research. And when you bid on it, obviously it's an auction, so sometimes you don't get it right away. Um, you will get it in five to seven days. But as I said, that's where I got my SEO tools for you.com. I bought it for like $10 and it was registered back in 2004. So the other tool I'd like to remind you of is the Wayback Machine. So once you find your domain, 
plug it into the Wayback Machine. You can get at it through this uh, button on the Alexa toolbar, or you can just type in web.archive.org, and that will take you to the Wayback Machine. This will tell you the history of that domain, and you want to look for domains that have aged of more than two years. In this case, this is a fantastic find. Third tool is the domain tools. And if you want to search and see what's available in that in a niche like dog training, you can use the advanced search filters here and you can actually get a really good display of what's available and also some great ideas. This is That's the point that I didn't make here. This domaintools.com will actually suggest domain names that are relevant to your search criteria. So it's a wonderful resource and the display is quite nice because you can actually see which ones are popular with the .com, .net, .org, .info, .biz, .us, and you can actually do a lot of research just by going to this one site. Leave me a comment on this video if you have any questions, if you have any comments. Thank you very much for listening, and keep an eye out for new videos coming out. Thanks again.